Welcome to Trippy Channel. In this getting started video, you will learn how to create your off-road electronic roadbooks with our Road Tracer Pro software. Each time the present agenda will show up, you can jump forward or backward to a given section by clicking the corresponding row. We will first review what you need to do before starting. Then we will define some specific terms. In practice 1 we will start from a lat long file of virtual beacons. In practice 2 we will start from scratch combining automated routing and manual mapping out. And finally in practice 3 we will start from an existing track file. Let's first make sure you have all you need. You have installed and registered your Road Tracer Pro software on your PC. You have an internet connection as well as access to your mailbox. You have gathered some raw material to work on your project. This can be either topographic maps, existing GPS track files or lat long list files. Now let's have a look at some definitions. The track is a collection of points, actually geographical coordinates, all along a recorded, computed or drawn route. The points of the track are relatively close to each other. On our example we show you a portion of track recorded by Trippy, displayed in Road Tracer with Google Maps satellite background. Automated routing is the action of computing a route between two points. As shown in the example, routing implies the availability of public roads on the map. In general, routing software and GPS systems cannot automatically route on trail sections. A waypoint for Trippy is a point requiring special attention of the driver. The information associated with a given waypoint is simplified, mainly graphic and displayed on the hardware screen. Waypoints are found mainly at intersections. A dot arrow symbol is a simplified representation of an intersection at a waypoint. The dot represents the entry point of the vehicle and the arrow the exit point. Trippy displays a clear and large dot arrow symbol until the intersection is reached. After this point is passed, Trippy displays the dot arrow symbol of the next waypoint. The distance to this waypoint is clearly shown and decreasing in real time. A lat long file contains a list of geographical coordinates, lat for latitude and long for longitude. The different entries can be seen as virtual beacons and are relatively distant from each other. The file can have different formats like Excel, text file or comma separated. Such files are common in air and nautical navigation. In terrestrial application they are mostly used in zones where compass navigation is practical in the desert for example. In practice 1 we show you how you can work with lat long files. Let's open this desert trip in Libya under the form of an Excel file. As you see this file has two columns, one with latitudes and the other one with longitudes. Each row corresponds to the geographical coordinates of a virtual beacon. We first have to save this XLS file under CSV DOS format on our desktop. Open Road Tracer and click File Open. Select the CSV file we just converted and click Open. In this form, make sure the formats are matching and when OK, click OK. The beacon based route is shown on the screen. If we zoom on the beacons and toggle them, we see the details of their environment, like buildings, oasis, etc. We will now show you how the Trippy hardware behaves to navigate from Beacon 7 to Beacon 8. A compass points to the Beacon 8 in the navigation part of the screen. The 26.7 km distance to Beacon 8 is updated in real time as you progress. The sniffer arrow in the upper left corner shows the direction towards the overnext beacon which is number 9. Here we browse the beacons 8 and 9 and see their environment. 
The last beacon is a small lake named Cobber On. Now we can save our TRB file by clicking File, Save, giving a name to it and click on Save. Our desert trip is now ready to be loaded on our trippy hardware. In practice 2 we will start from scratch using mainly manual mapping out. We start searching the internet for a nice ATV trail in the Bryce Canyon era, Utah, USA. While browsing through the results, we land on an entry full of maps. What a choice! These maps are published by Ruby's Inn, where we even could stay for the night. Let's select the track around Badger Creek. Looks fantastic, one and a half hour ride in a unique scenery. We keep this map open as we will use it as model and open TrippyMap in another web browser session. In TrippyMap I first ask a routing between Ruby's Inn and the start of the trail at the Tropic Reservoir. When done I send the roadbook file to myself by email. Let's check my mailbox. The message with the roadbook came in. Double click on the TRB file to open it in Road Tracer in Google Sat mode. The route between Ruby's Inn and Tropic Reservoir is displayed. Save this file as Bryce Canyon in your roadboot directory. At the end of the track you notice there is a bit of track along the reservoir you need to delete. Click on the last point of the track, press and hide the shift key and select another point where you want to stop the deletion. The selection portion is now highlighted green press delete, the section is removed. From this point on we will draw the track manually by reproducing the path from Ruby's in map. This may require to zoom in and out sometimes. Let's add a waypoint here and select a dot arrow symbol from the standard library. Here we take a four arms intersection that we modify to make it corresponding to the actual situation. Display the model map next to your work to continue mapping out the track manually. Click on the track, right click and select add points and just click each spot you want to add a point. Once completed we have converted manually Ruby's in map picture into a GPS track. Let's now add waypoints at the intersections and points of attention. Therefore, with the point and segment tool, we select the point where we want to add a waypoint. We right click and select add waypoint from the pop-up list. An empty waypoint is added. Now from the symbol library, we select the symbol that fits best to the actual intersection. And we do the same for all waypoints on the track. We can also add waypoints at points of attention, like where the trail is narrow or at the viewpoints. When all waypoints are created and illustrated, we make a last check to make sure our roadbook matches with the source. Here I quickly browse through the waypoints to let you see what information they contain. The viewpoint, for example. Another viewpoint, etc. And that's the finish. Now we save our roadbook that we will later transfer in our trippy hardware to GPS navigate the trail on rally style nodes. We can also generate a printed roadbook for friends that do not have the hardware. To do this, just select print, roadbook, portrait, and here it is. Thanks to Rubizin for sharing trails on rubizinatvtrails.com. And finally, in practice 3, we will start from an existing track file. In this example, we are searching the internet for a track in southwest Australia. After some search, we find on everytrail.com this attractive coastline trail around Pemberton. According to the picture, this trail really looks attractive. Let's download the GPX file. Start Road Tracer and open the GPX file you just downloaded. As you can see, this track has only one single waypoint. First, save your future roadbook under trippy format.
Therefore, click File, Save and select a location. Here we add a figure in the starting waypoint that was automatically created. To add more waypoints, we use the Point and Segment tool, select a point on the track, right click and select Add Waypoint. Then from the library we select the symbol that fits best. You can modify the symbol like you want. Once completed, we can browse our roadbook to check if everything is ok. Here we have the sea, this is the, the seaside, where is the place where we can take an aperitive and the different ball arrows of the track. If you want to have a better feel for the place, you can view the track on Google Earth. Google Earth offers a lot of features including having an elevation view, viewing pictures of the place, etc. Naturally, you can save your roadbook under KML format to share it with Google Earth users. A nice roadbook you can now navigate with your trippy hardware on rally style notes and or printouts for your friends. For professional organization, we strongly recommend riding a pre-run and record your GPS track. Our special thanks to Glenn of Northside 4-wheel drive for sharing this trip on www.everytrail.com. Thank you for watching. Do not miss other interesting videos on our trippy channel.